What's up, family? This is the Dutta Man. Uh, listen, I'm gonna rant for just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna start with this. Anybody that puts all of their eggs into one basket, I think, is an idiot. I think they're stupid. I think they're naive. I, I don't think they can think for themselves. They don't have their own mind. I just don't believe it. Um, in terms of politics, if you are a staunch Republican or a staunch Democrat, think you're an idiot. I think you're stupid. D -d 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 stupid. I don't think that you have your own mind. I don't think you can think for yourself. I think you are a brainwashed, manipulated idiot. I really do. Um, there are some things that Republicans have said, voted for, and done that I agree with 100%, 100%. There are also some, some things that I don't agree with at all. The same thing from the, Demo from the Democratic spectrum. There are politicians who espouse being a Democrat that have said and done and voted for and implemented some things that I agree with 100%. And then there are some things that I adamantly do not agree with. Um, we'll use gun control, for example. I'm a gun guy. I believe in the Second Amendment 100%. Um, I think that we should have the right to bear arms um, because um, the experiences that I've had um, let me know that 97% of the time, the police are not going to get there in time to save you. They'll get there in time to clean up the mess. You are your own first responder. The fastest response times in any police department is four minutes. The average shootout lasts for three seconds. They're not going to get there in time. Half the time, you won't even have a chance to pick up the phone and call 911. So if you're not ready and prepared to defend yourself and defend your own life or the life of your family, friends, and loved ones, then you're going to be in a world of hurt. So I do believe that um, we should have the right to bear arms. Um, because I don't want to be at the mercy of my attacker. And the very thing that makes a criminal a criminal is their refusal to obey the law. So you can make whatever law you want. They're not going to obey it. They're going to find a way over it, around it, uh, uh, under it. Some kick the door down and go right through it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they'll probably get caught and go to prison and, you know, get, you know, they may get a super harsh sentence. They may get a slap on the wrist, but you're still dead. And I don't want to be dead. You know what I mean? Um, the police cannot be there to save everyone all the time. They just can't. And I'm not anti police before anybody says that that I, I am not I just know that they cannot be everywhere all the time to save everyone they cannot 
um, they also do not have to save your life, even if they are there. The U.S. Supreme Court has already ruled that they, that the police do not have an obligation to act on your behalf. They don't have to rescue you. They don't have to save you. They can stand there and watch, and ain't nothing going to happen. They also have a constitutional right to lie to you. A lot of people don't know that. So I do believe in the right to be able to protect ourselves. Uh, the Democrats don't believe in that, that they don't think that we should have guns, period. Now, they'll say, oh, no, we're not saying that. We're not saying that, blah, blah, blah. But if you give them their way, and don't fight them. They'll take guns away from everyone except for uh, the people that are protecting them. Um, that's what d d Democrats believe. It's too many guns and we need more uh, gun laws when we don't even um, enforce the gun laws that we already have or we enforce force them uh randomly depending upon who depending upon who who it is some people are allowed to slide and some people are not um a lot of these mass shootings that we've had quite a few of them if the gun laws that we already have in place would have been exercised properly these mass sh sh shootings wouldn't have happened um, but that's neither here nor there. On the other hand, I do not believe that you should be able to get a gun so easily. I don't believe that it should be easier to buy a gun than it is to get a driver's license. I don't. I do, I do not think that you should be able to go to a gun show and buy a a gun without having it registered, without showing any ID. Nobody knows that you have it. That's just a recipe for problems. Because you can buy it without anybody knowing that you have it. You can sell it without anybody knowing that you have it. Um, and I think that buying a gun without having any sort of training is like getting behind the wheel of a car and you don't know how to drive. You're going to hurt yourself or someone. So I think that uh, we should make sure that people are mentally and psychologically fit to own a firearm. So I do think and agree with psychiatric evaluations before you're allowed to get a gun. I agree with that. I also agree with the fact that, as I said, you shouldn't be able to go to a gun store and just secretly buy a gun and if you're going to build your own g guns before you are sold the tools and materials to build your own g gun you should have to pass a background uh, ch check and a psychiatric evaluation I believe that um, is it a lot yes but so is the loss of life. And I think a lot of this stuff can be curtailed. Now, I would go along with all of this stuff if people were honest and meant right. But they're not honest and they don't mean right. And if we were to implement all of the things that I just said, plus a few additional things like firearms training should be mandatory.
inventory before you're able to buy a gun. The exact same way you got to go to the DMV, pass an exam, and pass your driving test. You should have to that you should have to take a firearm safety and training class before you can buy a gun. You should have to pass a written exam and you should have to go to the shooting range and demonstrate that you know how to load, unload, fire, to take the weapon apart and clean it and to know that you know how to sa safely and competently uh, run that firearm. You should also know the laws, rules, and, regu and regulations in your municipality to keep you out of trouble and to keep people from getting hurt. I think all, all, all of those things would be great. However, just for the sake of argument, um, if we had a national registry with background checks, the powers that be would use that as an opportunity to control people and to subjugate them and to get more power and to get more control and to know who's who and what's what and who's doing what and where they're at. They would use it. I know they would. It's been already demonstrated throughout history. So I know I'm rambling. I know I'm all over the place and that's okay. But what I'm saying is you can't just think one way. I'm not Republican. I'm not Democrat. I'm not for the conservatives. I'm not for the liberals. I'm not for the independents. I'm for what's right. If a Democrat is saying something that I believe is right and that I agree with, that's what I'm going to go with. If a Republican is saying something right and saying something that I agree with, that's what I'm going to go with give you an example. Governor Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, I think and believe that he is a racist, slimy, political piece of shit. And as a man and as a person, I have no respect for him whatsoever. None. He's not to be trusted. He's untrustworthy. And even the people who support him, you must know that he doesn't give a fuck about you. He's just using you. You're a pawn. You're a means to an end. However, there's some things that he's done and said that I agree with. I don't want my elementary school child in the third grade learning about homosexuality. They're in the third grade. They're, they're not ready for that. They're not prepared for that. Mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, they're not ready. I'm a 51-year-old man, and I can be manipulated. A third grader wouldn't stand a chance. And you got too many creepy people out here, too many creepy teenagers and grown-ups that will purposely manipulate your child. Now, I don't want that. I, I don't think it should, it should be t t t t taught. Taught, and and not just homosexuality, sex. Period. I think I should be the one to educate my children about sex and sexual situations. I'm their parent, and I should be able to raise my child the way that I want. 
And I should be able to instill my values and my beliefs into my child that I help to bring into this world. And if I don't want to teach my child about sex or I don't feel comfortable with it, I should be able to choose who teaches my child and what they teach my child. At the very least, permission should be asked and granted to be able to teach my child anything about sex, sexuality, or sexual situations, gay or straight. So I agree with him on that. It shouldn't be taught in school to a third grade. A third graders don't need to know uh, about putting a penis inside of somebody's butt or doing fellatio or cunnilingus on someone. That they shouldn't be learning about that. It's too young. It is too. It's like trying to teach a dog to fly an airplane. It's just not something that you should do. They're not ready. These are just examples. Now, I am perceived as an African American, uh, black or ethnic or whatever you want to call it this week. So, I was raised in North Carolina and I believe that I have been racially discriminated against several times throughout my life, throughout my travels. Ever since I was knee high to a tadpole, I have been subjected to racism. So I believe in civil rights. I believe in all of that. I do do. But on the other hand, I believe that if you don't like someone or you don't like a group of people for whatever reason, even if you're just being racist, even if you don't like black people or white people or whoever, just be because they're black or white and you own a business and you don't want to hire those people for whatever reason. I do not think that you should be forced to hire someone for your business that you built. Shouldn't be forced to hire somebody that you don't want to hire. You should be able to hire who, who you want. A lot of people are not going to agree with that. But. If I'm hired by somebody that didn't want to hire me, they hired me because they felt like they had to as an employee, how, how do you think I'm going to be treated? You think I'm going to be paid properly? You think I'm going to get raises and promotions properly? You think things are going to be fair? No. In the long run, it's just a waste of my time because no matter how hard I work, no matter how good of a job I do, if the word racism is ingrained deeply enough, it's not going to matter. Whatever I do is not going to matter. People that you don't like, their flaws and the things that they do wrong are going to stick out like a sore thing thumb and you're not going to be able to stand it and handle it because you don't like them. So every little thing they do is going to stand out. Conversely, if there's somebody you like, you're willing to look past their flaws and their faults to an extent because this is somebody that you like. So you'll put up with a little bit more. 
So I don't want to go and work for somebody and work at a place where they knowingly or unknowingly don't like me, 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 me. I would rather know up front that we don't like you, we don't like your kind, and we don't want you e here. Thank you for letting me know. So now I can go somewhere else and not and not waste my time. Some people waste months, maybe even years on jobs where their employers are constantly trying to get rid of them. And I don't want that. I, um, as I said, grew up in North Carolina. North Carolina, the racism is a little bit more in your face. It's more honest. It's less hidden, or at least it was. And even though it's wrong, I appreciated that because at least you know who and who not to be involved with, where and where not to go. Here in California, where I've been living since 2001, there's just as much racism, if not more. However, it's more understated. It's more subtle. It's more hidden. People smile in your face and stab you in your back. You could work with people, interact with people, even go to their homes, go out to eat with them, hang out with them. Tell these people your secrets. And all the time, this person doesn't like you. And you'd never know it. I don't like that. The bottom line is you have to have your own mind. You can't be 100% anything because there's some things you're going to miss. So think for yourselves. Ha have your own mind. And don't just toe the line. Don't just follow the party line. Don't agree.